I'm Kimberly, the cooking instructor for Faith and Food. Today I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful but simple stuffed acorn squash. The first thing that you need to know is how to pick out, how to choose a acorn squash when you buy one from the grocery store. And one of the things that you want to look for is some orange, but not too much. Too much orange means that it's going to be overripe and therefore a little bit stringy and dry. You also want to look for one that is heavy for its size. So pick up two that are similar in size and figure out, okay, is this one heavy or is this one um, light? And then choose from there. That is going to help give you the most moisture inside of the squash. Um, acorn squash is a winter squash, just like butternut squash. Um, because it lasts for so long, you can actually find it most of the year, um, but it is mostly in season during, during um, the fall, during the fall and winter. Um, and that makes it perfect for all of the fall flavors that we're going to add to it today. The first thing you need to do is cut the acorn squash in half. And I like to do it from stem to root because that allows it to, to sit a little bit more sturdier when cooking. The best thing to do is to find a good groove and put your knife inside of that. So you see you have your, your bumps and your grooves. That groove is gonna help your knife be a little bit more sturdy because acorn squash can be really hard to cut. If the acorn squash is too hard for you to cut, like I'm struggling with it right now, um, you can poke some holes into it and either microwave it or steam it just a little bit and that is going to help it soften and be easier for you to cut because it'll be partially cooked. And be sure to use a nice big knife. Now that we have the acorn squash cut in half, we can take out the seeds. To do that, you just use a spoon and, and dig them out. Now, an acorn squash is just like a pumpkin. They're whole squash. So if you have a favorite recipe that you like to use to roast your pumpkin seeds and eat them, you can do that with these, with these seeds as well. So don't have them go to waste. They're a perfect healthy snack. So you wanna get the seeds and some of that stringy flesh out. Now we have some melted butter. We're gonna take a little bit of ground sage, about a quarter teaspoon, and mix that in. And sage is a great fall flavor. You find it in so many um, recipes for Thanksgiving. So you mix those in. And then you're just gonna brush it on top of the acorn squash. And you're gonna put that into a baking dish, or if you're doing a large portion, um, I'm only doing one acorn squash today. But if you're, if you're making four for your whole family, try and use like a roasting rack that you would um, use to, for, um, for your turkey or a chicken. Something that's, that's large that will hold them. Now if you find that your acorn squash won't sit, um, sit up straight, you can also cut off just a small portion of the bottom side. And that will help it stay sturdy in the pan rather than rocking and rolling all around. Now I have my oven preheated to 400. I'm gonna go ahead and pop those in for about an hour. And while they're cooking, we're gonna make the stuffing. So my pan is preheated to a medium high heat um, and I do have a little bit of, of a heat safe oil. We're just going to add in our turkey sausage. Mine was in casings. So you just take a slit with your knife down the middle and just pull it out. And we're going to use a pound. So for me that's about four links. And here you can see the slit that I made. Take the casings out. Okay, so 
we're just going to let that brown up for a little bit. I'm going to wash my hands and prepare the rest of the ingredients. It looks like we're ready. I don't see any more pink and this will continue to cook in the oven. Now depending on how much fat your sausage has in it, you may or may not have um, some piles of oil. Ours is actually pretty dry, so our turkey was pretty lean. Just gonna set that. Now if you had extra oil, you could leave about two tablespoons in there. Mine is completely dry, so I'm gonna add two tablespoons of oil. And to that, I'm going to add in half a cup of onion and just one rib of celery. And we're going to use that to scrape up all of the brown bits that are on the bottom. So get, get the vegetables coated in oil and then and use them to kind of help break, break up that the, um, the stuff that's stuck to the bottom. We're going to let these cook for a couple of minutes until they're soft. Those look about, about done. Now to that we're going to add two chopped apples. And I'm choosing Granny Smith apples, which are green apples, um, because they lend a, a tart flavor, which I, is something that I prefer. But if you like if you like sweeter, you can use any any red apple. We're gonna cook those for about four minutes until they're just a, a little bit tender. All right, so our apples and our sausage are all done. I'm just gonna take them and transfer them to a dish. Here's the sausage. And then the apples and the onion and celery mixture. We're gonna combine them all together. those up and then we're going to season it with a tablespoon of cinnamon and a tablespoon of maple syrup and because these are sweet that's part of the reason why I like to use that Granny Smith apple that way you don't have an overly sweet dinner it's still on the savory side Mix it all together and then give it a taste to see if it's to your liking. Um, you know, every, every sausage is different, so you may find you want to add more salt or not at all. I think it tastes great. Now to that we're going to add one egg that is lightly beaten. It's going to help it all stick together. Now we just have to wait for our acorn squash to get, be ready. It's not quite there. How you know when a squash is ready is that when you squeeze it, you can tell that it's it's um, a little bit a little bit mushy, a little bit soft, but doesn't break all the way through. We're gonna give it about 10 more minutes, and we'll check again. Okay, the acorn squash is ready. Oh, it smells good already. Now we're gonna take this this sausage mixture. And we are just going to fill up these holes. Now 
Now you're gonna have a lot of filling, so you're gonna kind of make a mound on top. Okay, now we're going to take that sausage, the sausage filled acorn squash, and throw it back in the in the oven for about 20 minutes or until the egg is set up. All right, the time is up on that acorn squash. Let's pull it out. You can smell the cinnamon and the maple, all the wonderful fall flavors. The, there's some nice crisp on the top. And all you have to do is serve it up right like this. The acorn squash is its own beautiful dish. And there you have a stuffed acorn squash with apples and sausage.